Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Kona. We're gonna hop right into it, I guess. Into the general store. Let's take our stupid frame counter off of the screen, because I don't think you guys want to see that anyways. But hey, hi hi guys. An explosion suddenly occurred outside. Thank you. Let's go check what's outside. In the dark, it does recommend to use a flashlight. Okay. Maintaining his composure, Carl recalled something from his military training. Wolves always stay away from populated areas. Wait, was it about bears? It was about bears? Well, I guess that's fixed. I'm under stress. Hmm. Cool. What's all in the shed, though? Ah, you. I guess we gotta go find the key first for the shed. What the fuck is this? Carl was used to strange phenomena, but a chunk of ice like this, as if an iceberg came out of the ground, that was a first. We'll keep the picture. Carl found a surprise at every turn. Was the camera faulty, or was it a possible lead? A possible lead of some sort. Put your camera away. The Polaroid, Carl's long-standing and faithful ally has seen a share of husbands caught red-handed cheating. There's always something out there waiting to be snapped away. Inspect. Hmm. Think. Electricity is turned off. Well, no shit, Sherlock Holmes. Any stupid idiot could figure that one out. A broken clock. How convenient. According to that log, it seemed like the whole village owed some money to the general store. Carl was far more interested in the bunch of nearby addresses he had just gotten his hands on, though. Cool. Duct tape. And matches. <gasps> A key. Of some sort. One. One, three, four. Ah. Ten cents. The snowstorm pummeled everything in its path. Carl was not surprised when he heard no tone. Carl was surprised Carl even. knew that Gilles Lachance was in charge of the general store. That made him one of Hamilton's employees. A very angry employee, as Carl could plainly see. You know what, Hamilton? I have forgot. I have a frog in my throat. Hmm. The general store. Uh, 
Ah, flashlight. For a med kit. Ah, a Shirley wine bottle. That's cool. carried his log on him in which he scribbled down thoughts and leads alike during the course of his investigations how oh, cool Carl because Carl can do this Closer behind us. Oh, it is cold in here. Hardware. Some more inches. The crowbar was stuck under the lift. Notwithstanding Carl's imposing stature, car lifting wasn't part of his skill set yet. <laughs> Staring intently at the controls won't be enough to make that lift budge. <laughs> Poor thing was out of power. I think we can go. There we go. I think we can go fix the, the Jenny now. Hey. The general store did not have power. The general store did not have power. What I think? What? What the heck? Uh. Extricity from generator. No, that's on. Explained that the garage and the store couldn't be supplied with electricity at the same time. So they're both so. Garage. Oh, uh, the garage should be on. Yes, the garage is on now. Ooh, what's the, the thingy? Nothing. Yuck. At least we know it's fragile. True. There we go. At long last, the crowbar was within Carl's grasp. Surely it would come in handy at some point.
Can I see the crowbar or no? So now let's go. Oh, the door closes behind itself. Oh, it is running. Now, we can go into the panels and turn on the main store. Turn you off. A broken clock. Let me leave that on. Pliers or hardware or logs and an empty bottle. Wow, that was a lot of gas he put in his car. Now what? Now where to? Carl knew straight away where to find the infuriated Gilles Lachance. Any good investigation would have to start there. store and its surroundings still held their secrets and he didn't like to miss out I know go find we'll go fuck around with the vet general store some more sorry Carl What's up, my two, my two, my back? Get more tracks. Carl's inventory is full. Nothing. Nothing in a port of pooty. Another one of those things. More. More tracks. Oh. Carl, what the? the hell could that thing be? It looked like a man fossilized in ice. All of a sudden, Carl felt like he was pulled inside a world of dreams, a cold, unknown dimension. Somehow, self-control was slipping from his grasp. What are we? To all appearances, this 
was a hunting log. Better yet, a war diary. That's not creepy at all. What could these engraved numbers mean? Seven three nine. A fresh path suddenly appeared before Carl. Bro, that's not creepy at all. Not creepy at all. A truck. Carl had that feeling you get when you immerse your frozen hands in hot water. What happened? Now at least he knew who the unfortunate man petrified in ice was. Gilles Lachance, the general store's manager himself. Yo bro, that ain't no fucking creepy at all. That had to be the worst parking job ever. Who was Carl to judge though? It may be customary to park like that around these parts. Or not. Bro, that ain't fucking creepy. So do you do this? Well, it's... No, you don't. Oh my Carl wondered how long he would have to endure this skin stinging cold. Okay, good. Hold on, Carl. Sit on to my pack. stuck into the wooden stairs reminded Carl of the arrow that was said to have hit Achilles heel but who was the intended Achilles this time the air was freezing right down to the bone the otherworldly ice had struck again. The woman's hopes and dreams were frozen in eternity. Yo, bro. Something was hidden under the stairs.
man grabbed his rifle. Carl felt a sense of dread in him. There is nothing useful here. relationship had been cooling down lately. It seemed like secrecy was mm. commonplace in this house. The vision's veil was lifted, and he was back to reality. A reality in which Giselle, Jill's loving spouse, was motionless, frozen in ice. Okay, Carl or cold, so... We're gonna warm up. By the fire. Wallet. Mystery journal. The beast enjoys long slumbers. Well, actually, no. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna end this episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Kona. And if you guys liked the video, please leave a like if you guys did. If you guys want to see more of Kona from me, please do subscribe and have a good rest of your week slash weekends or whenever this gets up. See ya.